today we want to continue with approximation our previous lessons was approximating by place value then we continued by approximation by decimal place now today we want to do approximation approximation but in this case it is going to be significant figure SF so if you have any problem that, ha that has a program solve the following and then your answer approximated to the to the SF or 2SF, 3SF and so on it just means to approximate your answer to the nearest significant figure and then it will more or less tell you which one right so here we go um, to start off significant figure normally problems that we would be getting uh, especially in trigonometry you would get 35.46872 and so on and so on and so on right this is just an example and then the problem might tell you to approximate to 2SF right now approximation for place value decimal place their insignificant figure they're almost the same thing um, the first thing you have to do is identify which one is your second significant figure so identify the number you're approximating so that's the first thing we need to do identify the number you are approximating identify the number you're approximating now in this case we're approximating this problem 35.46872 to the nearest two significant figure so in significant figure to identify this significant figure we will count from left to right and this is very important so you're going to count from left to right but your first value cannot be a zero right so in some cases you have 0 0.00235 and then you will notice that um, the first number that you have is zero and then it's 0, 0.00 and then depending on the problem right you will have you it will be starting by zero but whenever you have those cases your first significant figure whenever you start counting the first value cannot be a zero so that means if you have zero 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 first you omit those ones you do not count those one and you start from a non zero if afterwards you have zeros in between the numbers then they count but the first one that you count cannot be a zero right so let's take a look at the problem identify the number I'm approximating I'm going to count from left to right which means that my first SF is that one my second SF or my second significant figure is a 5 the third significant figure is a 4 the fourth significant figure is a 6 the fifth significant figure is an 8 the sixth significant figure is a seven and the seventh significant figure is a two right so i'm going to count from left to right but my first value cannot be a zero keep that in mind whenever you're doing significant figure so my second significant figure for the problem 35.46872 my second significant figure or the number i am approximating is going to be the 5 afterwards after you have found which number you're approximating then you apply you apply what from um, what we did to all the other ones which is the plate and um, place value and decimal place you look at the number that follows right you look at the number that follows if one if the number is if x or the number is less than 5 if the number is less than 5 this is 
it's not nothing there right so if the number is less than five which is four three two one and zero then you live as is you live as is which means that the five will not will not um, change or what I will do is I will just say plus zero plus zero will will not change that number right and then the second scenario is if X is bigger or equals to five meaning that you have five six seven eight or nine if you have five six seven eight or nine you add one right so you're going to say plus one right? so one you you're going to leave the number as is and then what i will do is just say plus zero and then the other one you will say add one or plus one to change it to the next one now when will i say plus zero i say plus zero when i look at the number that follows and the number is four a four a three a two a one or a zero when will it change is whenever the number that follows is a five a six a seven a eight or a nine so let's take a go back to the problem the problem we had was that we wanted to approximate this number to two significant figure the second significant figure is the five we look at the number that follows the next number that follows is a four now if the number is a four you can notice that it falls within this category here where the number is less than five and it says plus zero or leave as it is meaning that the five will not change so we will see plus zero then I'll do an underline I will all the number that follow follow after the one that is being approximated will change to zero so that means this four will become zero 6 will become 0, 8 will become 0, 7 will become 0, and 2 will become 0. I bring down my decimal point, 5 plus 0, that still remains as 5, and then I bring down the 3. Now notice that I don't need all of those zeros, so I will say it is approximately 35. Right? And this is the first example. We're approximating to two significant figures and we're taking a look at significant figure, right? Um, let's do another one. Um, let's say you have 3.40628, and then this problem, let's say it's asking us to approximate this problem to 3. SF. So, which number would be my third significant figure? If you take a look at the problem, it says what we need to do is count from left to right, but our first value cannot be a zero, right? So, count from left to right, we could count this way, and our first value is not a zero, so we start counting from here my first significant figure my second significant figure my third significant figure notice that the zero is after you have started counting so this counts as a significant figure so my third significant figure is going to be this zero which means that i will be approximating that zero look at the number that follows the number that follows is a six now remember what i said if it is greater or equals to five which is five six seven eight or nine you add one if it's less than five which is four three two one or zero you leave as it is or you add zero to it right here we have a number greater than five so we will say it is plus one after that on and put um plus one and then all the numbers that follow will become zero 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 and zero zero plus one gives me one bring down the four and then bring down that three 
So my answer is approximately 3.41. And that is how we have it, right? So we have approximated the three significant figure. Another one, let's say now that if you have 0 0.0, 5462 and then it says approximate this problem to 1SF right 1SF now remember what we said whenever we have the problem the first thing is we have to count from left to right so from here going this way but if you take a look at the problem it starts with 0 0, 0.0 and then the exception was that if it starts with 0 you cannot start counting from that one so you cannot start counting from this 0 you cannot start counting from this 0 you have to start counting from a non zero if you have uh, after you have start counting from the 5 if you have a 0 in between then the count like for instance this one here remember the four was the second significant figure and then the third significant figure was the zero so here we don't start counting from here we don't so first significant figure and we don't need to go any further the first significant figure is the five so this is the number that i am approximating once I do that, then I look at the number that follows. The number here is 4. It is less than 5, so that means we leave the 5 as is, or we just quickly say plus 0. Right? Plus 0 because it will not change the 5. So bring this down, that becomes 0. Bring this down, that becomes 0. And that becomes 0. 5 plus 0 that remains as 5 it did not change right bring down that 0 your decimal point and then that 0 so my answer is approximately 0 0.05 I hope you guys understand what we're doing you have done three of them it is very important for us to learn this because in many mathematical problems we end up with a lot of decimals and then you can approximate or you can be asked to approximate to different to different decimal place to different place values or different significant figure three of them and they are the most common right let's do two more examples and then that's it so another one let's say you have nine nine point nine 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 and it says three sf right so we have ninety nine point nine 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 three sf we start counting from left to right our first value cannot be a zero and we know that it isn't so we start first significant figure second significant figure third significant figure and it is this nine here that we are going to be approximating once I get that then I take a look at the number that follows the number that follows is another nine so that means that I will say plus one because it is greater than five right so we say plus one this is my underline here this 9 will convert to 0 and then this 9 will become 0 right so just immediately add zeros for those now if you take a look at what we're going to be doing is 9 plus 1 that gives you 10 now know that we cannot put 10 there where there was a single digit so what we do is the normal addition 9 plus 1 is 10 you put the 0 here and you carry 1 right so that's what we have there bring down your decimal point and then again 9 plus 1 10 place your 0 here carry the 1 9 plus 1 10 in this case we don't have another one so we don't we don't carry but we just claim simply write 10 so my answer is going to be approximately and then the last one 
let's say you have 3048 and then this problem is asking us to approximate this to 3FF again right three significant figure now notice if you had a if you have a decimal or you don't have a decimal you don't need to worry about it you just need to count from left to right and then you just bring down your decimal whenever you're working with it right so three significant figure we count from left to right our first number cannot be a zero so is it a zero no so that means you can start counting from here now notice that there's a zero in between that still counts as a significant figure after the first one is not a zero so not a zero start counting first significant figure second significant figure third significant figure that's going to be the four here look at the number that follows that's a eight because it's an eight we say plus one because it is five and greater we say plus one right the eight becomes zero four plus one becomes five bring down that zero and then bring down that three and then my answer is approximately three thousand and fifty right and that is what we have now notice i i want to make a something that um maybe you did not notice what i'm doing but if you take a look at some i remove the zero like for instance the first one this one here it is 3.41000 i did not put the zeros here and then for the one down here notice that i did the reason why i did this is because this one the zeros are after the decimal so if it is after the decimal you don't need to bring it down after the decimal you don't need to bring down those zeros after this decimal you don't need to put it out here but here is before the decimal or if you notice you don't have a decimal point your decimal point is an imaginary one which would have been here which is 3050.000 the zeros here at the back we don't need to put but then this this zero falls before the decimal so this one you have to bring right and then if you take a look at what would happen here 3048 is rounded off to 3050 not 305 if you remove the zero then you would end up with 205 right so it, it it's it it would be wrong right so i hope you guys enjoyed the video like the video put some comment 